Okay, I'm trying something different here. I have a different setup. I'm doing the rear facing camera and I'm just trying to set it up. I already tested out, I have it on my Apple Watch so I can see that the setting is good. But anyway, in this video, I'm basically going to talk about something I learned from this book that I'm rereading, 33 Strategies of War. And I read something from it that is really powerful and it kind of connected with my meeting with my appointment center yesterday. And I, it's very important. I'll start off by reading. In giving into fear and losing your presence of mind, you disgrace not only yourself, your self image and your reputation, but your company, your family, your group. I want that to sink in that I want you to understand that I run a social media marketing agency called Infinite Progression. And when running an agency or running in any business, when you try to look for customers or try to do outreach and when you're building something, then when you don't see results, that fear can set in and it could hinder you from continuing on your journey and getting progress. I felt that a little bit yesterday when I was doing outreach and I was reaching out to all of these different organizations. I'm not using a lead list type thing. I'm building my own lead list. And as I get I look through all these companies, they already have their marketing teams. They're already big and stuff like that. I use a little trick going through Facebook ads library because they're already uh, running Facebook ads. So it's easy here to convince them the importance of the service. So I felt that little kind of n nudging in the back of my mind, like probably I should give up, probably I shouldn't continue, that fear trying to set in. But I didn't let it hinder me because I already uh, focused on a goal. But in your situation, if you're hearing those little voices at the back of your head, just don't focus on it. This is reg in regardless of if you're running a business or not. If you're doing anything in your life, don't let those little voices hinder you. Now there's another part to this that is even more powerful, and I'll read it. You bring down the communal spirit. Being a leader of even the smallest group gives you something to live up to. Remember that, even the smallest group. You're, the smallest group begins with yourself, just a group of one. And you have to learn how to lead yourself. You have to be disciplined. You have to be disciplined to eat right. You have to be disciplined to take care of yourself. You have to be disciplined to focus. You have to be disciplined to show up to work every day, show up to your business every day, get the job done. Let me continue. Being a leader of even the smallest group gives you something to live up to. People are watching you, judging you, depending on you. That's powerful, depending on you. To lose your composure would make it hard for you to live with yourself. The depending on you thing is even more powerful because when you're running a business and when you have a team and when you're paying someone, then those individuals are depending on you and your business to sustain their lifestyle. And if they have a family, that's even more important. So when you don't show up, when you fail to do your job, then the business suffers and other people suffer. And this is the same way even if you're just a company of one, if, you only, if it's only you in the business, even if no one knows about it. The reason why you're doing your business, that could be to help out yourself, that could be to provide for your family in the future. And if you don't show up today, then later down the road, you won't have the resources to support your family or support whoever you're trying to support. So even though they don't know about it, you're still working towards a goal and you have to keep that in mind. People are depending on you whether they know it or not. And you're the first person that depends on you because if you can't trust yourself, then who are you gonna trust? So just think about those things that I talked about. Don't let those fears keep you from living your life, working towards your goals, working in your business. And remember that people are depending on you 
including yourself, your family, your friends, whoever that may be. Thank you. Subscribe for more videos, for helpful tips, and check out this book. I have a link to it in the description, 33 Strategies of War by Robert Greene. It has a lot of gems in it.